Hello, my name is Info, and I will be your guide through this instructional video. If you are seeing this, then you have reached the age of 10 or older and have officially received acceptance as a citizen of the GeoMiss United Commonwealth. Congratulations and welcome. Along with your citizenship, you have been issued a Type A standard SIN implant or Citizen Identity Node implant and a non-network base codec which has been registered to you through your SIN implant. You may choose any GMUC sanctioned telecom network provider in order to use your codec. Every GMUC citizen is allocated a base sum of bandwidth from which they can use. This user bandwidth caps out at a registered percentage. Your base bandwidth cap will be set according to your inherited social status parameters, which can be influenced by several social sources. Your bandwidth can be increased or decreased at any time based on your actions, actions or claims in your favor, or actions and claims taken against you. You can increase your base user bandwidth through the allocation of Hexabit earnings in any job sanctioned and certified by the GMUC. Hexabit earnings can be stored within the default treasury of your codec or through any sanctioned and certified GMUC treasury. How to use your codec. The codec is your multi-purpose MCRC or Mobile Communications and Replications Computing Device created by the Codecamil Corporation. Use of a standard codec per GMUC guidelines allows you to access the NebuNet and includes multimedia functionality such as music, video, camera, gaming, navigation, and of course, replication of items both edible and non-edible. You can only replicate items which are of a size that can pass through the display window. Any items larger than this will require the use of a fixed location replicator. Service and Maintenance Under GMUC Citizenship User Guidelines, you are required to maintain the functionality and upkeep of your registered codec. This is for your safety and protection, as well as the safety and protection of your fellow citizens. Failure to maintain upkeep of your codec device could introduce security vulnerabilities which could result in the infection of your slug via malware, spyware, unsolicited adware, and ransomware attacks. This includes the possibility of exposure to the Arxis virus, which can not only destroy your slug through patina rot, but infect the entirety of the codec replication network and result in the replication and introduction of arkanoid or even archine to the civilian population. 